Hello once again. This is your professor, Danny Araneta Kabulay, for the course Strategic Management. So we're here to talk about the tail end of the STRAMA paper or Strategic Management paper. So first you scan the environment, the external as well as internal environment, and then you were able to identify what are the critical issues using the ife FE matrix. And now you're ready to set goals. So what exactly do you want to achieve for the companies that you're examining? So you have to identify goals. Maybe one, two, or three goals would be enough. So this is just a small paper, so let's try to practice. What kind of goals are we talking about? Okay, first they have to be smart goals, meaning they are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So revenues could be in various categories. What kind of revenues do you want to achieve? But you have to know what was the previous revenue of the company you're examining. So you have a target, a higher goal, a higher revenues or profits, business development, net worth, shareholder value, savings, productivity, leadership. Let's say before they used to be in the top five. Now in the next five years, you want them to aim for the top three. Okay, so that's a goal or market share, brand equity, market penetration. Let's say they're not you know, doing very well in Asia Pacific, but you want them to do well, so they want, you want them to penetrate the Asia Pacific market, or maybe repeat referral business, or increase their competitiveness, or maybe improve the level of customer satisfaction. So you can choose one, two, or three goals, okay? Now, so how do you set goals? Well, in the real world, we always compare our past performance with our current performance and how we can improve in the future. So reviewing the past performance is very important in setting goals. So you have to aim higher all the time, okay? Always better. Scan both the external and internal environments and then consult key officers on unit goals. So if you're working for a company, then you can consult your officers. Formulate business and corporate goals and then make necessary adjustments. Let's say you find that the goals you set are too high, so you want to make adjustments, that's perfectly all right. So in slide number five, I've given you samples of goals that you can aim for, let's say productivity. So in one year, you want to aim for 65% productivity. Maybe currently you're just enjoying 60%. So next year, you want to make it 65. And then in the next two to five years, you want to make it 75. And then in the long term, six to 10 years, you want to hit the 95 mark, okay? So revenues. Okay, increasing from 1.8 billion per annum all the way to 3.7 billion in, within 6 to 10 years. And then previously, you're in the top 5 only, maybe ranked number 5. This next year, you want to become number 3. And then in 2 to 5 years, you want to aim for number 2. And then in 6 to 10 years, you want to aim for the number 1 position. Or maybe if you are a multiple branch company, Let's say you're like, say, Starbucks in the Philippines, okay? So currently, you only have 210 branches. Next year, you want to raise it to 245 branches. And then in two to five years, you want to add some more to make it 270. And finally, within 10 years, you would have reached 350 branches. So those are examples of goals that you want to target, okay? So now that you know how to set goals, question is, what if goals are not met? Well, identify the bottlenecks. Saan nagka problema? Identify the root causes. Review alternative solutions or remedial action. And then you can adjust the goals accordingly. And then seek consensus of the group and then seek commitment. Everybody must be committed to fulfill the new set of goals as adjusted. Now, how do you select now the strategies? Because the strategies are the things, the ammunition that you need to use or implement so those goals that you've set can be met, okay? Well, there are generic strategies. Let's look at some criteria also, how to select those strategies and then safeguard your strategies and how do you test your strategies? Well, maraming klase ng strategies. Generic, you can use specialization. That means you only stick to your core business, okay? Kung kagaya ng Coca-Cola, they only make soft drinks. Coca-Cola does not make coffee. Coca-Cola does not manufacture cars. They only make soft drinks. Horizontal integration. So you have similar businesses. So you buy out the competition. For example, Jollibee, no? Binili niya ang Chow King, ang Greenwich, ang Mang Inasal, uh, uh, and, and also 
other brands, no? So, Red Ribbon, okay? So, binibili niya yung mga ganung klaseng brands kasi indirect competitor niya yon. So, that's what you call horizontal integration. So, he's buying out the competition. Direct or indirect competitor, okay? Vertical integration, so, alimbawa, Max's restaurant ka, pero bumili ka ng farm, chicken farm, kaya yung farm mo ang magsusupply ng manok sa restaurant mo. Okay? So, that's an example of vertical integration. So, the supplier and the company is the same. Okay? Diversification, like SM, they're into so many things. They operate malls, cinemas, they have a bank, they're into hotels, etc. Okay? So, very diverse ang kanilang businesses. Is that what you want? Yung mga companies na ina-examine nyo, are they diversified? Okay? And then, price or cost leadership. For example, Shangri-La in Makati, nagsara na sila, pero bago sila nagsara, sila ang pinaka-expensive na hotel sa Pilipinas. Okay? To stay in Shangri-La, you need, the cheapest room you'll get is 15,000 pesos a night. Okay? Price leadership ang tawag doon. Okay? And then differentiation leadership. Okay? For example, Aman Pulo Resort in Palawan is very, very exclusive. So, that makes them different from the others. Okay? Segmentation leadership. Okay? So, that means you're the leader of a particular segment. So, maraming klase ng mga uh, strategies, no? So, how do you select? Ngayon, ang gagawin nyo, pumili lang kayo, napakaraming strategies. Merong marketing strategies, financial strategies, HR strategies, operation strategies, etc. Pumili lang kayo ng mga dalawa, tatlo, apat, hanggang lima. Depende dun sa problem na gusto mong i-address na nakita mo dun sa IFE-FE. Okay? So, how do you choose the strategies? No, the sensible strategies to choose are those that you feel are your apparent strength or competitive advantage. Make sure that you have available resources to implement those strategies. Make sure that you're innovative and you can differentiate. That makes you special and distinct. It is also going to have market attractiveness. And then mag-grow ang business. There is a strong potential. Okay? So that's how you select your strategy. So bahala na kayo pumili. Napakaraming strategies. Just go over the list. If you want to know more about them, you can research them, Google them to understand them better. Okay? So... That is our lecture on strategies. Okay? So, maraming klase ng strategies, ha? Okay? So, just choose two to five strategies. Okay? What will address the critical issues that you were able to identify. So, at the end of the day, if you want to test your strategies in the real world, pwede ka mag-experiment, you can do sampling, simulation, or soft launch. That ends now our lecture on setting goals and identifying your strategies i will be up for the last lecture for this uh, semester for week number 10. bye